Hello everyone and welcome to another simulation tutorial. Today we are going to simulate this Volte connection and the uh, the goal for for this simulation is to find the the shear force on each bolt. Uh, there is a force acting on at, at this location 200 millimeters from the center of the of the bolt and the diameter of the bolts are m M12, so 12 millimeters. So I have already created the bracket and the column. So we have to make the assembly and prepare the the assembly for the simulation. So this is the final result. And let's create a new assembly. New assembly. We're going to change the units to uh, millimeters and now let's insert components and let's hit browse so the first component is the column so let's hit ok if you notice here there is an f um, that means that the part is fixed so if you try to drag it it's not gonna let you okay so let's now bring the bracket just place anywhere and let's apply some mates to assembly let's create that face select that face with this face and select uh, coincident now we're going to align this face with that face holding control key and select coincident as well finally let's align the bolt so select this bolt and this hole right here let's do it one more time holding control key let's select this face and make this concentric okay so now we have a fully defined and constrained assembly so from here from here we can go to the simulation if you don't have simulation you can always right click and select tab and make sure the simulation is checked so under simulation let's create a new study and let's rename this as a uh, voltage connection study let's hit ok so the first thing is let's apply a material type let's stick with the alloy steel apply in close now under fixture the column is going to be fixed so right click and fix geometry and let's select the back of the of that plate so now uh, i would like the bracket to be constrained also on the z direction so i want that only to rotate and move on the y direction so uh, let's apply a roller slider so we're going to select that face so it doesn't go on the doesn't move on the z direction and let's hit okay now let's apply a force looking at the problem the force is acting on this hole right here and the magnitude is 12,000 newtons so let's select the interface of that circle if you notice that force is going in all directions and uh, we want the force to go only on the y direction negative y direction for that let's select the select the direction and this is going to be the reference plane reference plane we're going to select the top plane and the force will be acting normal to that plane so this is the check this and let's look at 12,000 units. So this is going to be 12,000 units. We need to reverse the direction of the force. And let's hit OK. So that's how you will set up the force. Um, next, let's apply a, uh, a local interaction between all these components 
and um, we're going to automatically find the interaction. So let's select the two plates and find local interaction. Hit OK. And let's hit yes. Uh, next, let's add the bolt at this location. So under connection, let's right click and click on bolt. If you notice, there are uh, different type of uh, connectors. Uh, for this problem, we're going to use the standard bolt and nut type. So the first box is for the bolt. So we're going to select the edge for the bolt. And the second box is for the nut at the back. Again, let's select the edge. So if you notice here, the diameter of the bolt and the head is uh, automatically calculated. And um, 12 millimeters, that's what we are expecting. Connection type, we're going to keep distributed. It's going to give us a more realistic simulation. Material, we're going to uh, stick with the alloy steel. If you have any custom material, you can always modify those values. Under strength data, make sure you check on this check mark and um, threads per millimeter. This is coming with your bolt specs. For this problem, we're going to keep it as 1.75. The strength, if you have a different uh, bolt strength value, you can always update this number. And the safety factor, this is the desired safety factor we would like to achieve for each bolt. And um, those are all the settings for the bolt. Since we have to do this two more, two more times for the other two bolts, uh, let's hit, click on the pin. This is gonna keep all the settings the same. And all we have to do is change the bolt and not location. So hit okay. So now let's select the second. This is for the bolt and the nut let's rotate and select the edge at the back let's hit okay and lastly the bottom hole and the nut at the back and let's hit okay and close So now we are going to create the mesh. You can refine this as you wish. And let's hit OK. And now uh, we are ready to run the simulation and run this study here. The simulation has been completed and um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video our goal is to find the shear force acting on each bolt before we uh, jump to that let's click at let's animate this um, bolt connection so we can go to the displacement and right click and click animate so you can visualize how this is going to behave on the real world Let's click OK. So now let's go to the shear force number. So right click on results and define pin bolt check plot. And let's hit OK. So after we are on this table, we can click on details. And from here, uh, let's select the bolt. Okay, so we notice that the um, the force on the y direction, just the pure shear force on the y direction for bolt number one is 4,000, around 4,000. For bolt number two is also 4,000, and for bolt number three is also 4,000. That makes sense. This is, uh, if you remember, this is a 12,000 newtons 
force acting on the y direction so each bolt is going to uh, to have a um, that force divided by three which is around four thousand uh, newtons force so the um, that's only on the y direction so now the resultant force for each bolt is found on this column right here so for bolt number one is 37 around 37,000 uh, newtons for bolt number one for bolt number two which is the one at the middle and we are expecting uh, around 4,000 and bolt number three is again 37,000 uh, newtons and um, and this is how you will uh, find the shear the resultant shear force on each bolt so after you get this number you can um, you can calculate the safety factor um, for each bolt based on the bolt strength and um, i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching